Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Tuesday and we are in a Champions League week. We have Champions League games today and that also means the possibility for Champions League content and not honestly possibility, almost the guaranteed aspect of Champions League UCL content inside of FIFA Ultimate Team today. Just like last Tuesday, we saw a lot of things happen around the UCL marquee matchups, SBCs that caused market movements because of tradable packs last week we also had a flashback sbc i'm going to talk about all the stuff we could see today in terms of what teams could be in those ucl marquee matchups could we have tradable packs again and even more content that would make the market drop lower today so we had kind of a quiet day on monday yesterday we really didn't have any content except for the inclusion of the fgs tokens and fgs swaps which uh, are basically if you didn't see the message that you got when you loaded into the game, if you watch one of the events, there's 10 events, I think. And if uh, you watch 60 minutes of one event of the qualifying, one of the qualifying events, you get a token and then you can turn one of those tokens in for packs. So again, uh, I, I think like the, in order if, to get the fifth pack, this, you're not going to be able to get this until like January 20 something. So, uh, I mean, it's just a little extra something, I guess, but we're going to have to wait a long time to get these packs just because the pro, the FGS events aren't out for a long time yet. The first one's like this weekend, but after that, uh, there's like a lot of breaks in between. So that's something I guess that is out. I don't know if I would call it cool, but, um, that did come out yesterday. So it was kind of a quiet day on the market yesterday, right? A lot of things started to keep rising up during the day, or they kind of maintained their price after rising up from Sunday night with the squad battle rewards period. We made a decent amount of coins there if you were around for that. But today we have the big SBC, right? UEFA slash UCL marquee matchups. And this SBC came out last week and really caused a stir Tuesday of last week on the market. Now it required common UCL players and rare UCL players, um, which a lot of people were not happy about last week because they first were just getting onto the market. Now I think the common players are cheaper now. Uh, because of, of course, supply, promo packs, and other SBCs we've gotten to supply those onto the market. But uh, who are the two going to be this week? Last week we had Ajax, Liverpool, and Paris versus Manchester United. Now the fixtures this week aren't as hype, if I had to say so myself. There aren't as hype, not as many big name teams are playing each other. Uh, day one, so today, Tuesday's games, I think Marseille and Man City might be the featured matchup because there's a lot of teams they were either in marquee matchups last week, UEFA marquee matchups, uh, or they're in the regular marquee matchups this week. So I don't know if EA is going to double up on any of those. Uh, I think Dortmund, a lot of the guys that play on Wednesday, we might not have like the biggest teams sh showcased in the UEFA marquee matchups today. I honestly think we might have Marseille, Man City, uh, and then... I don't know, maybe even Sevilla and, and Rene's because Dortmund, Barcelona, and Manchester United. Man Manchester United was obviously in last week's marquee matchups. Barcelona and Dortmund are both in the regular marquee matchups, not UEFA. So they will still be required for those regular marquee matchups. I don't know if EA will require them both for regular marquee matchups. I just don't think they'll put both of those, uh, they'll require Dortmund players twice, basically. Uh, inside of two different sides of marquee matchups. So that's why I don't think Dortmund, Barcelona, or even Man U will get in. We'll see if EA decides to do something different. But uh, we probably, the, the biggest thing is we're getting these SBCs today. We should be getting this SBC today, which should mean tradable pack supply for the market because we haven't had tradable pack supply in the last few days. All of these other packs they've been putting out, rare gold pack untradable, mega pack untradable. The FGS challenge today was a rare Electrum players pack untradeable so there's really hasn't been a lot of market impact because of that but i do think today some of these uh tradable packs we saw it last week right now it's hard to see on the flipping graphs but last week on tuesday i remember looking at this literally on stream with you guys on twitch link in the description if you're interested um we looked on stream right i got on in the evening joe gomez was over a hundred thousand coins at the content drop last week he dropped down to 92,000 coins with the pack supply and those then rose right back up to like 99,000 coins three to four hours later in the evening that is the possibility that we could see again today with a market dip and then a market rebound on meta players after that so not necessarily joe gomez this week but of course our favorite page in flipping the popular page this would be something i would be keeping my eyes on closely very closely this week. Last week, I remember Ben Yedder was down at 82,000 coins. 
He went back up to 90 a couple hours later. Again, this is a perfect opportunity to do some of those quick flips that we often do when pack supply comes onto the market. Uh, of course, out of packs cards, right? Do very well at this stuff because even though they're not getting packed, some people see the market going down and they just panic sell. So definitely watch some of these gold cards that are very meta that people use a lot in their teams uh, because they'll get packed and then they'll rebound back up after that. It's just what we see with a lot of these cards. Now, other things that we could see with these SBCs today, of course, if you invest in the right teams, if you invest in Marseille, Man City, maybe, I don't know if they would throw in Real Madrid because I think Real Madrid was just in some sort of uh, marquee matchup recently. Oh, Barcelona, Real Madrid for El Clasico. They're in marquee matchups right now, not UEFA marquee matchups, the regular ones. Uh, so if you invest in the right teams, you'll probably make some coins on those investing in the marquee matchups um, requirements. But also what you might see is team of the week cards and rule breakers. Again, think about what tradable pack supply is going to do to this market. These cards, uh, they need to go lower in my opinion, especially some of the high tier ones, Kane, Mertens. These guys are still a little bit overpriced. If we do get tradable pack supply today, you could see a dip and a bounce back on some of these as well, because a lot of people want to use these cards, right? Laporte, I'd be interested in nine Golan. Yorente, Mer Mertens today by himself with no content, right? No content on yesterday on Monday. He went from 470, where is he at here? 479,000 coins, 445 on the Xbox, up to four, over 500K on the Xbox and 520 on the PlayStation. So profitable flips when there was no content dropped in the midday today on Monday with Mertens, right? That just means there's demand and there's, these cards are gonna fluctuate. So imagine a little bit of pack supply, these cards dropping like golds and then rebounding as well. It might be an opportunity if you want to, to get in on a team of the week for Inform as well. Maybe a guy like Rashford drops down to like 560, 570. That might be your best time to pick him up before he goes out of packs tomorrow on Wednesday. Now, a guy like Delaney is already up 10,000 coins, so that might have to drop a bit for you to want to really invest in that. But this might be a last chance pickup today with the UEFA marquee matchups to snag some of these players as well. Other things that this does, right? Other things that happens when we have a tradable pack supply SBC like this is people just start panic selling everything, right? People literally go and panic sell everything. You might even see, now this is a pretty extreme pretty extreme example but a guy like kyle walker's inform who's over 500k right around 500k 486 this guy's up over a hundred thousand coins and we called this last week when he was in team of the week we said man this card is a 500k card after we saw the amount of demand that this guy had and knowing how good this card is in game this is like the best center back in the game seriously just because of the pace but cards like this that are out of pack informs right team of the week one two three uh, and maybe even some ones to watch cards, definitely take a watch on those today as well. Now, I know this is this is not like a Thursday flip investment, boys, right? These are not a Thursday flip investment that we're talking about here. We are talking about purely a very short-term time frame flip. We're talking a couple hours, right? Bale is very low right now because, of course, Tottenham played yesterday, so his card is getting sold off. He did not play in the game. He didn't even make an appearance, and I don't think he got subbed on. I didn't actually look to see if he was subbed on at the end of the game but um a lot of these ones to watches are low as well because there's midweek right some some ones to watches might even go up today for the games that's one thing you could watch but if there's panic selling on cards that are not playing today on tuesday or maybe they're playing a champions league game tomorrow on wednesday you know you have guys playing on wednesday like um we have PSG, so Fl Florenzi's wants to watch card, of course. You got Man United, so maybe Van de Beek and Tellez, possibly with market movements. Uh, so definitely keep an eye out on some of those ones to watches today as well. But out of packs informs, if you see panic selling on those today, just with the market going down in general, that could be a flipping opportunity as well, right? Irving Lozano, very popular card, 95 pace. If I could find the correct item to search by, this guy bounces around everywhere in terms of price man he's a 90 94 93 thousand coins uh just a very very meta card that a lot of people like to use i like to trade with jamie vardy right english premier league striker right what more do you need to say is a card that a lot of people want to get on this game this guy like almost every day you'll find you'll be able to pick him up at like under 180 and he'll sell for over 190 at some point during the day as well so just watch out for panic selling across the entire market today in terms of cards uh, that are going to be just panic sold because of the new content coming out. And of course, with the pack supply of the marquee matchups SBCs. 
Now, last point, and I mentioned this on my video yesterday on the Market Outlook video. Last week on Tuesday, we got this flashback Kashelny SBC who is expiring today, right? And we got the marquee matchups. We did not get any of the repeatable upgrade packs or 81 plus rare UCL player packs. Any of those UCL players that were added into the code last week, we did not get those SBCs. If those come today, depending on if they are repeatable, number one, or um, if they are like a reward pack for UCL marquee matchups, right? If the reward pack for one or two of these SBCs is like a three common or three rare UCL players pack, that's not going to do too much to the market. But if there is a repeatable upgrade SBC for any of these UCL cards, whether it's for the rares, commons, or the 81 plus rare, that could be a little bit detrimental to the market just in case, just depending on how they price that SBC because that is a repeatable upgrade SBC. Some people just... People will go bananas for that, honestly. Some people will do 81 plus UCL SBCs just because is it is it is a repeatable SBC that they can do at this point in the game. And I have a pack. I didn't even see this. What is this pack? Oh, the FGS kit pack. Lovely. But if those SBCs do come out today, I think that would make the market crash even more extreme. I think you would see more of a market crash today if we got repeatable SBCs, even though it's just for the blue Champions League cards People will put, dude, people go crazy for any type of upgrade SBC repeatable or like re anything that's an upgrade repeatable, people go nuts for it, right? We saw that at the end of the year last year with all types of upgrade SBCs and people are already itching to get them. I can just, I know it, I can smell it. People were overpaying the first day. They're paying 100K more for a UCL blue version of Neymar. What they're going to be doing these upgrade SBCs if they come out. So just just watch those as well. That could cause the market to dip off even more. But if it's just pack supply today, if it is just the U UEFA marquee matchups, maybe a player SBC, um, then I do think the market movements are going to be almost the exact same as last week. So again, when we get the pack supply today, look at the rest of the content, right? Take a look around. If there's nothing else too crazy that was released, head over to this page on Footpin right over here, the popular page and start looking at some of these very popular meta usable and hyped up cards in foot because these guys are going to take a dip in the panic and they're going to bounce right back up. They should bounce right back up as people, um, you know, get coins from those SBCs and actually go and upgrade their teams. Because yes, I know some people are going to be actually investing in Thursday flips during this drop today. If there is a drop today, people will be investing in cards then. I honestly would not do that because cards got a lot lower last Wednesday night than they were on Tuesday, if you waited until the rewards time frame. So I would not really buy in your Thursday flips yet. You could, I guess, if you wanted to. If you're expecting a market rise uh, on Wednesday for whatever reason, I would not do that just yet because, again, with how volatile this market is, I don't think I would go out and risk it. So, again, today you might see pack supply, an opportunity to dip. Uh, for the market to dip, buy in, let it rise into the nighttime UK, and then sell off those cards as a nice little, honestly, like an eight to 12 hour flip and sell them into the morning on Thursday or on Wednesday. And then boom, you just made some coins right there uh, just with a market fluctuation with some supply and then people buying cards back up. So that's the champions of content I do expect today. Honestly, I think we're going to see some market movements, right? It was kind of a slow Monday. Tuesdays like this are always a little bit more fast paced. Some sort of SBC that comes out that causes the market to move. And uh, I just want to get you guys ready for that today. So hopefully this information finds you helpful or you find it helpful. If you did, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.